Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number eight. In question number eight, we have to find the amount and the compound interest on rupees one zero 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 for one and a half year at ten percent per annum compounded half year. Rate. Would this interest be more than the interest he would get if it was compounded annually? So let's find first. Amount in the compound interest when the compound interest is payable half yearly. Here the principal is rupees this much, rate is ten percent, and uh, time here is one upon two years. And interest is payable half yearly means after every six months you will be paid an interest. So in one and a half year. Three times interest will be paid, and we know that if the interest is payable half yearly, rate becomes half, or you can say rate will become five percent. So we can find the amount. Amount will be one plus rate is five percent. Right now we know the formula. I am not writing the formula. I am just putting the values. Into this is hundred and five multiplied by hundred and five multiplied by hundred and five upon hundred multiplied by hundred multiplied by hundred. So this can be cancelled by this. These two cancel by this, and uh, this is five two one and five twenty. Five two one and five four. If you Multiply these number and cancel by four. This will give one one five seven six point two five rupees. So this will be the amount if the interest is payable half yearly, or you can say this money will become this much after one and half years. So you can find the compound interest. So which will be equal to amount which is this much minus. Principal, which is one zero 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 zero. So this will be twenty five. This will be one five seven six. So this much rupees will be the interest if the compound is if the interest is payable half yearly. Let's find what will be the interest if the interest is payable annually. We know that if the interest is payable annually. So let's find what will be the interest after one year and. After that, uh, whatever the amount is will act as a principal for the next, or you can for the remaining period of time. So in this case, uh, let's find what will be the interest for the first year. We know that simple interest and compound interest for the first year remain the same. So instead of using this compound interest formula, you can use the formula for the simple interest if you want to find the interest for only one year. So the principal. We know that the formula of simple interest is P R T upon hundred, where P is principal, R is rate, and T is time. So in this case, the principal is one zero 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 zero. Rate will be ten percent because now the interest is payable annually. Means every year you will be paid interest. So interest rate would will not be changed, and time is one year. So when this is cancelled out, so we know that the interest will be one thousand rupees. Now we know that after that the amount will become principal plus interest, and principal is basically this much, and interest is this. So this will be the amount. And we know that for the remaining period of time, this will act as a principal. So again, we can use the formula for SI. And because now the interest is only payable for half year, so ten percent and time will be half year into hundred. So this can be cancelled out, and this is five times. So this will be five fifty. If you add the total interest here, 
interest is thousand and this is five fifty. So the total interest, if the interest is payable annually, will be one five five zero rupees. And if the interest is payable half yearly, the interest will be one one five. Uh, oh sorry, the interest will be one five seven six. 0.25. So clearly, the interest is more when the compound interest is payable half yearly. Thank you.